Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for those of you who still feel like you're a fool for love and you're still in love with an Aries sun, moon, or rising sign. This reading is for the next month, looking at the middle of March until the middle of April, and assuming that you didn't have a hyper-negative split with this Aries sun, moon, or rising, it could be a man or a woman, masculine or feminine energy. We are looking at the Aries elemental sign. We are going to look at how the Aries sun, moon, or rising, rising sign is currently feeling. We are also going to look at quickly what they want. We're going to look at what you can do. We're also going to have a look at if they're already involved with someone else. And then we will look at the prospects of it, what the overall chances are of trying to reconcile or repair, repair a relationship with an Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising Elemental sign. I've already shuffled the cards. Just doing one last quick shuffle, and we're going to go ahead and see where we are. I typically never look at the bottom of the deck, but we have the Ten of Wands. So uh, the barriers may already be up with the Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or you may feel like they already have the, the wall up, that you haven't been able to reach out to them, that they haven't reached out to you, and you may be in a situation of information blackout. So how they're feeling, what they what they want, what you can do. Right now, for reconciliation with the Aries elemental sign, it looks quite tricky because they are in a type of uh, sustained animation. They, the Aries elemental sign may be having a difficult time dealing with themselves and with their own emotion, trying to analyze and understand who they are as a person and exactly what they want because they feel like everything around them is not good enough or it doesn't fit or it won't work. Uh, they're very, they're very, they have a very negative outlook right now but not so much in the relationship is more where they are in their life. They're taking stock and trying to figure out what the next step is, uh, being very confused and not really knowing what they should do. It's less about the relationship. It's less about their private intimate relationships and more about trying to gain inner stability within themselves and trying to understand themselves right now. So let's have a quick look at what you can do, what you can do. And we're also going to look at if they're already involved with someone else, what the prospects are of trying to reconcile the relationship. So the Aries elemental sign, and this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, it seems to me that there is a great deal of confusion. They may have other people interested and in trying to approach them. Uh, they may be putting themselves out there even socially to meet other people, but their heart right now for the Aries, their heart is not in it. So whatever they're looking at in terms of moving on or getting into a relationship right now, especially if they've just recently split up with you. And by recently, I, I mean in the past three to six months, uh, the Aries is not really ready to move on. They are not ready to let go of the past because they do not fully understand who they are or what they want right now. And this is for the Aries sun, moon, or rising. You would currently be watching for an Aries who you recently broke up with and you would like to try to reconcile the relationship or repair the relationship. Let's look at what you can do. So we have the 10 of coins two times, guys, by the way. It would seem to me that the best approach, if you would like to try to reconcile with an Aries sun, moon, or rising, 
is to leave them more or less to their own devices. Let them try to figure it out. Do not cajole them. Do not chase them. Do not run after them. Do not try to um, interject yourself into their life or... Uh, I think what you would call it is try to take a break in terms of not reaching out to them. You're going to have a better approach, being very grounded, being very serious, being very straightforward uh, in your communications with them. So if there were problems, you're going to have a better chance of identifying what the issues were in the relationship. For me, this is identification of the issues what what was what were the challenges in the partnership or the relationship from a very practical uh, well-defined standpoint you have to be able to point out what the issues were and you also have to be able to point out how you will solve those issues if you have a chance to speak with the with the aries sun moon or rising because really what the focus on is a new start. Now that can be a new start alone or apart. But if the relationship was to work out, and if you were to have a chance to reconcile, it would really have to be in a, in a framework of getting at the root issues in a serious way and trying to come up with, with identification of what the issues were and then taking and making a plan on how you can fix those issues. I would like to see if the Aries, if the Aries elemental sign, sun, moon, and rising wants to reach out to someone they reach and recently broke up with. I would like to know if they would like to reach out. So again, this is if you're watching for an Aries who you recently split up with, and you would like to know if there's a chance to reconcile. Let me see. I would like to know if the Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising would like to reach out. Let's see what we have. I would say over the next month that the Aries elemental sign is going through a type of self-analysis. They are trying to figure themselves out. There really may be quite a bit of confusion about who they are, what their abilities are, especially in terms of managing and interacting interpersonal skills relating to others in, in their intimate life, their intimate world. Uh, they do not necessarily feel capable right now and they know that they have to change something and they are also trying to figure out what that is so until they feel um like they realize and like they know they would not want to reach out over the next month they are trying to learn they are trying to understand who they are this is pleonexia with the golden girl uh, if you were dealing with the uh, Aries as well, Aries, Sun, Moon, Arising, I just get this now, there may have been a lot of issues around jealousy, around competition, but in particular jealousy. And they feel like also this is, they know this is an insecurity and they know that it's something that they have to get a wrap on. They know it's something that they have to find a way to understand and manage. So that might be the overlying issue with the Aries elemental sign. That's Aries, sun, moon, and rising, trying to get control issues, trying to get control over jealousy or being jealous and trying to understand their own insecurities before they can think about trying to get into a relationship with anyone else or before they can try to think about speaking with you even or reconciling with you. I feel, uh, I feel embarrassment because maybe they're even reassessing the situation and how it went before with you and realizing that they made a lot of mistakes in how they behaved or how they treated you or how they interacted with you. And now they feel like it's something that they have to fix. They would like to have a quick fix, but they know that a quick fix is not possible. They have to do that soul searching and they want to fix this once and for all, once and for all. This is what I'm getting. They want to find a way to make a sustainable fix of this, something that is sustainable, not a quick fix. They want to understand what went wrong, who they are, and how to be a better person. 
in how to be a better lover, how to be a better partner, how to be a better wife or husband, uh, even how to be a better parent if you have children together. So that's what I have for those of you who would like to reconcile with an Aries sun, moon, or rising, and you wonder about how you can do it. We can all be <laughs> fools for love. So thank you for joining me. I hope I see you guys back here next month. Take care. Bye-bye.